Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be reacting to the worst friends ever. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. She caught and cancelled the haul. My wedding was taking place at because my wedding was the day after her birthday and she was pissed about that. Don't need that in my life anymore. What kind of friend is that? What? Gee, this friend is honestly just selfish. <laughs> Why is she pissed that the wedding is after her birthday? Why? Shouldn't she be happy for a friend? But instead she's like, no, not after my birthday because this week is my birthday week, so no. <laughs> Wow, what a bad friend. I had a friend who told people about my miscarriage. When I confronted her, she said she thought everyone knew. I had only told maybe three people. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yeah, bye, bye. Seriously, that's honestly so private. Why would you go around telling people that? <laughs> Seriously, respect your friend, please. Respect your friend's privacy. I knew it was time to end my friendship with my best friend when the only time we would see each other was when she needed a ride somewhere. Or there's always that one friend who will only use you and they won't give anything back. Yes, there's always that one friend. And it's just bad, you know, those friends, you don't need them in your life, okay? Drop them. Basically, they only come to you when they need help, but when you need help, they run. They just run. They bolt, okay? Yes, those are not the friends you need in your life. I found out she was telling people behind my back that the friendship had died a long time ago, but continue to use my Netflix, Amazon Prime and come over and eat my food. This person is just shameless. Wow, what? So they were like, oh yeah, I don't like her. She's not my friend. She's so lame. But they did all this? Wow, 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 wow. These are not the friends that you need in your life, okay? Drop them. <laughs> I cut off a good friend of mine because he was a compulsive liar. He would lie and tell completely outrageous and frankly unbelievable stories to gain sympathy or pity from others. And it was too much for me. The best story I heard from him was that he went to Japan, got drunk of sake and got a girl pregnant. He said he was going to have to go to Japan to care for the child. A few days before he was destined to leave, the girl apparently died. Because of course she did. <laughs> What? He made all of that up to gain sympathy and pity? Wow, why? Just why though? Why? I don't get it. Seriously, why would you lie to people about this? Just why? She was more angry than happy for me when I told her I was pregnant after two years of being told by multiple doctors that I couldn't get pregnant. She was angry? Why was she angry? Was she jealous? Just be happy for them. Just be happy. They were trying for so long and they finally got pregnant. Be happy. <laughs> These friends are honestly just so bad. She yelled at me after I didn't respond to her text after two minutes because I was driving. What? <laughs> I was done when I found out she was having an affair with my husband behind my back. <gasps> Your friend did that? Oh. That is the worst thing your friend could ever do. What? Have an affair with your husband? There's even a code but you don't date your friend's exes. <laughs> and they did this? They had an affair? Oh, that's just sad. It's the worst finding out it's your friend as well. Someone that you had trust in. She threatened to out me to my entire family I am closeted to. Still told her family who also all threatened to out me because I wasn't giving her enough help and attention for her wedding. What? What the heck kind of friend is this? Okay, a friend who threatens you about anything, they're not good friends, okay? Drop them. <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below if you had any bad friend stories. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.